hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel welcome to you so this week guys i am going to incorporate something a little bit different i've put the chakras back in and whatever sort of falls out of my hand is going to be um, what i'm going to sort of use the chakra bowl to give you a sound that you can resonate to and me sending you healing uh, for what is going on around you so i wanted to incorporate these in this week's reading okay so with all that said and done let's get on with the readings i'm now going to read for the lovely star sign of scorpio so my lovely scorpios i'm going to try and shuffle <laughs> these chakra mats okay they'll either flip out flip over and whatever is coming out for you so what have we got for scorpio spirit in the chakras what have we got for scorpio oh and that one's definitely flew out of the mix and we have the third eye so let me get the chakra bowl that resonates with that one clunkety clunk third eye and I feel like the third eye comes out around you Scorpio to say look further into something okay don't just look at it with your two eyes look at it with your third eye there's something around you what spirit are telling you open your mind on a situation look into it okay on a spiritual level not on a physical uh, human being level I want you to go for your higher self what would your higher self do in this situation but for now I'm just going to resonate the sound for you okay so let's resonate the sound for the third eye chakra So let's have a look at the cards. I will use that at the end uh, to finish off your reading as well. We'll have a little bit more sound vibration because sound does heal. Okay, sound does heal. So what have we got going on for Scorpio? And we have Aquamarine, go with the flow. I just want to get one more out for you. Just want another crystal energy. And we've got go deeper. Okay. And didn't I say about, you know, looking into something a little bit more with a bit more perspective? What would your higher spiritual self see? Okay. This is coming out with thank you. Snake. Okay. So, there could be somebody around you who you see as that kind of an energy, not to be trusted, okay? Um, somebody who ties you literally in knots, maybe. But I want to say there's a, a changing, shedding energy here as well. When we look at this card a little bit closer, it's actually a person's arm where the snake is wrapping itself around. So I want to say someone's trying to wrap you around their little finger. And you can see between the lines here, okay, you can sort of read between the lines 
that something is just not quite right. I am going to clarify this for you. Can we clarify the snake for Scorpio? Thank you. Five of Swords. This energy, this person around you, okay, is struggling. Struggling to get... Can you see here? It's like this is the person they used to be and they're struggling, okay, to say like, I'm lost. I'm lost. For some of you, it could be somebody coming back into your life who tries to wrap you around their little finger with all the sorries and I wasn't, you know, I wasn't in the right frame of mind or it doesn't have to be a romantic connection. It can be um, just on a, a soulmate or a twin flame or a friendship link. I just feel someone's trying to get you on their side. Someone is trying to manipulate you. It's very deep, Scorps. Let's just get a card out for your own inner conscience. What else have we got for Scorpio? It could literally be your energy as well, looking at this. Okay, like, this could be you with the Five of Swords, thinking, I don't need this snake energy, whatever, is trying, it's like a manipulative type of energy coming in around you, and it's like, do I really need this? You know, it's just one big headache. Don't need this energy. Could be a family member as well. Okay, just trying to take advantage. Um, you know, and you're just thinking, no, I don't need the hassle. So, you've got mindful group think. This is your spirit. This is your own conscience. It's as though you've locked something away within your mindset. There's something being withheld within your inner conscience. And it's like to say, do you want to unlock this again? It can involve a collective because of group think. But the group think can also have a knock on effect of, right, if I open the lock up again on this situation, it's not only going to impact on me, it's going to impact on others, your family, your work ethics. But the time's ticking here. I just feel it's the universe trying to say to you, there was a stage or a phase in your life where something was just totally locked away within you okay but for some reason there's a timed there's a timed timeline where you will be challenged by this energy as to whether is revisited. I don't know why they're telling me to say these words to you, but it could all be Chinese whispers, and I say that because there's a sort of Chinese parasol here. This is what's giving you this overload. This is why you've got to go deeper 
but I feel like you want you need to go deeper on your own soul level. Go with the flow. And I feel like go with the flow is whatever's meant to be, whatever's fated, whatever's timed. But it's as though, see there's a, it's like a location being highlighted here. I just feel there's an energy coming in where paths will cross at a fated time. which will then have you thinking, what do I do? I'm going to clarify that card. Gosh, Scorpio, it's a deep one for you. It's not going to resonate for everybody, obviously, but... Oh, sorry, I knocked the camera then. Um, it's not going to resonate for all of you. What is the mindful card, Spirit? Nine of Wands. See, you're protecting yourself here. It's as though you've always held a torch, okay, for this friendship, this connection, whatever it is. But you've protected yourself from it, you've put a barrier, barrier up and you've restricted yourself. And this is what I feel spirit are trying to tell you. You leave it as it is. You leave the land lying as it is. Don't cross the boundary. So you're lulled into a full sense of security here. Where this energy will try and wrap itself around your finger okay in trying to say oh you know remember the good times remember this remember the other and you're going to stand there and think nah too much water has gone under the bridge too many things have changed you're quite happy where you are Scorpio because it's as though they tore strips off you in the past literally Okay, mentally, physically, whatever this energy is. So, what does the universe want to bring into the mix? What else have we got for Scorpios? And it's Reliable. Rely on yourself. Rely on your own instinct. I feel this person, this situation let you down in the past without they were not reliable, not a reliable source. So, what animal spirit have we got coming out for the Scorpios? And it's the alchemical sign of fire and it's a cheetah. But I want to go a leopard here. A leopard never changes his spots. And this energy will come in fast, hard. Just want to get another animal spirit card. What card have we got to represent Scorpio, please? And we've got the hummingbird. Hummingbird is about communication and I just feel this is you, you know, trying to 
maybe block communication, not interested, you know, tell them straight to the point. And then hummingbird, you know, it just is a fast paced energy. I just feel whoever this person is or situation, it'll come out of the blue, okay? It will come out of the blue. So I do feel it's communication that will come in. So let's have a look what your guides, angels and spirits want to add on to the equation. So this is why the third eye chakra has come out for you. Because some of you will say, I saw this coming. I saw it coming. It's fated to come back around. Something's coming back around, Scorpio, for some of you, okay? But I don't feel, you know, it's not warranted. Too much water has gone under the bridge here. And if it is to do with people, then you've both changed. Okay, like I say, you're just not singing off the, the same hymn sheet. Even though one of the parties, which I don't feel it's you, I just feel it's the other person, will try and say, you know, but a leopard never changes its spots, and you know that. So, we have New Direction. Life may seem like a whirlwind at the moment, yet there is a divine order to the present circumstance. What may appear as chaos is often angelic forces of the universe at work. After the storm clears, you will be steered in a new direction, a time of renewed healthy joy and abundance. Beautiful energy. That's the spirit want to bring in. But can you see... The highlighting matters of the heart here as well and also illuminating the third eye what would your higher self look at and feel and see to do with matters of the heart wow let's have a look what the fairies want to add to this. What have we got for Scorpios? Wishing you health. Don't let these things weigh you down. Don't let these thoughts, okay, hold you back. It also comes in to say, don't be too hard on yourself either, Scorpio. Let's just clarify the wishing your health card then. I feel like I want to use that deck actually. Wishing you health. Will of the wisp treasures hidden in the shadows. There's things you can't see at the minute. Again, we're going back to the third eye chakra. I want to add the two together. The six and the two comes to eight. I want to go August. Something is going to be manifesting around the time of August. And this is what I feel the whole of this reading is about. That if we go back to your conscience card. And I said... There's something timed here, fated for paths to cross again. So I feel August, guys, 
Okay, August. Where this energy may be coming in for some of you. A very cryptic message, Scorpio. It's not going to resonate for everyone over this next fortnight. But do check out your moon and rising signs because not only would you may get a different chakra vibration, you may also get um, additional messages that resonate uh, to you because sometimes, you know, these readings aren't all about you. I work with energy, so it's people who are connected around you as well. So let's go out with the third eye vibration send you some positive vibes Thank you, Scorpio. You take care of yourself and I look forward to reading to you next time. Bye then.